For nearly a third of her 63 years, Sylvia Scott has marshaled a mountain of medicine against a relentless disease. I mean, it was hard to take a shower. It's hard to fix your hair. You just wanted to stay in bed all the time. It is a disease that can be elusive. I finally was diagnosed after six months of going to four doctors. Finally, a rheumatologist diagnosed Sylvia with lupus. People can present with low-grade fever, and actually a majority of patients, all they have is fatigue. Let's take a look at your other medicines. Okay. Sylvia, like many of the estimated one and a half million Americans with lupus, does have to deal with a medley of different medicines, but under expert guidance by rheumatologist Catherine Dow, Sylvia is much happier now than when her lupus was both undiagnosed and out of control. It's just an overactive immune system that tries to find something to attack. In this case, it attacks the body, and it could be in the joints that it attacks, so then you can have arthritis. It can attack the lungs. Um, people can present with chest pain or shortness of breath. Um, it can attack the kidneys. After at least a two-decade drought without new drugs to fight lupus, Dr. Dow says the FDA is on the verge of approving a new lupus-fighting medicine. This is an exciting time for research. We're learning more about it, and hence there's a lot more awareness about the disease, and patients are seeking medical attention um, <clears throat> to treat their symptoms. Unfortunately, one out of nine women who may initially test positive for lupus may turn out not to have it, illustrating the need for specialized care. Some patients are misdiagnosed with lupus and are put on potentially harmful medications when they didn't need it in the first place. Finding the right doctors makes all the difference in the world.